Hello and welcome to Art With Me, Katie Cordy. This week is Halloween, and because of my love of animals, I wanted to talk a little about the creatures that are the stars of the show each October. Halloween, or All Hallows' Eve, was originally created to celebrate the dead, but over the course of centuries has grown into the holiday many of us celebrate today. Due to their associations with eating Karen, or dead animals and people, as well as their black feathers and croaking calls, ravens and crows are often associated with Halloween. These birds are a part of the corvid family, which includes magpies and jays. Ravens are considerably larger than crows and have a lower, croakier call. Both birds are extremely intelligent, showing creativity and inventiveness. Many scientists believe that these birds are as smart as apes. In mythology, crows and ravens are often considered bad luck, but this isn't always true. In Norse mythology, Odin Allfather has two ravens, Hugin and Mugin, thought and memory, that fly around and tell him all the news. Another flying creature associated with Halloween are bats. Whether it be bats flying out of a haunted house or the infamous Dracula, Bats are often seen as me in media as blood-sucking horrors. In fact, only 3 out of 1,300 bat species actually drink blood. The rest prefer nectar, insects, mice, and even fruit. You may have heard the saying, blind as a bat. While these nocturnal creatures do use echolocation to help them navigate, bats have excellent eyesight, although most can only see, see in shades of black, white, and gray. Then there are wolves, often shown as howling towards the full moon. During Halloween, you may see as many werewolves as you do wolves. These mythological half-man, half-wolf beasts are originally from Europe, walking as men during the daylight and transforming under the light of the full moon. Of course, werewolves do not exist, even though they are extremely popular in modern culture. Their inspiration, wolves, are known for their chilling howls, which are their way of telling other wolves to stay off their territory. Wolves do not howl all night, typically crying during 7 p.m. to midnight. Real wolves howl during any night they please, not just during the full moon. Skittering across the ground are rats. These intelligent but short-lived creatures have long been associated with death. Rats will eat nearly anything, from trash to dog poo to dead bodies. They also have un an unfortunate long history of carrying disease, including carrying fleas on the ships and spreading the Black Death. This is the deadliest pandemic in recorded history, killing 30 to 60 percent of Europe's total population in the 1300s. Nowadays, rats are common pets, and store-bought rats are unlikely to carry disease. In fact, rats are often more dedicated to grooming themselves than even cats. Rats have been shown to have a high degree of compassion, helping out their fellow rats, even when that means they miss out on their favorite treats. Like rats and black cats, spiders were thought to be witch familiars. Many people suffer from arachnophobia, or the fear of spiders. Although some spiders are venomous and deadly to humans, like the infamous black widow, spiders can also be friends. These arachnids are great for gardens, eating pests like aphids and beetles and reducing the need for chemical pesticides. Some species of spiders even eat frogs, mice, birds, or small fish. Last, but certainly not least, are black cats. These felines have often been a part of superstition, believed to be the familiar of witches, a sign of curses and death, and a symbol of bad luck. Cats used to even be burned at the stake with so-called witches. But don't freak out if a black pat cat crosses your path. It is actually the cat who is unlucky, not you. Black cats are more likely to be, be hit by cars at night. They are also less likely to be found if lost due to, ident due to lack of identifying markings, which is why it is so important for your cat to be chipped in case they lose their collar. Black cats are not as photogenic as other cats and are often seen as uninteresting compared to more colorful cats. Not to mention, some people are still superstitious, leading to many pet shelters to not adopt out black cats during Halloween to keep them safe from ill-intentioned people. Unfortunately, black cats struggled to be adopted from pet shelters. In fact, my own black cat, Juniper, spent six months in the shelter before I adopted her 
and she was completely free due to her coloration. Junie is a complete love bug, and I'm so grateful to have her. I hope today you've learned something new about these fantastical creatures, and maybe give them a second chance. Just like during Halloween, not everything is as it appears. <laughs>